and I know that everything millimeters I'll leave this this way I'll leave this this way just that's all I need my angles are in degree so that's all I need then if I want to set my levels I can just go out straight set my levels but I don't really need that for this project I hope you guys will get along with that so let me just go to level one I want to create my roof so I'm having my cardinal point then I pick the roof so after picking my roof press yes so it will pop out the dialog then I pick my tools the tools the kind of shape I want my roof to be so depending on the shape you want to use you use all these icons for that so now I personally just want to use a rectangle hope you are getting that you can see that so now I'm having my rectangular shape with the slopes so depending on the type of roof I want to create so yeah now I have my slopes and this should give me a e proof after forming it after finishing it rather so to go on if I want to set some properties of my roof then I could do that easily to change the thickness I, I always prefer using 75 or something less than that give it some materials if you want to but I prefer give it at the default material it is so just go on then to get the glass roof itself it's already placed inside the the basic roofs you're having it's probably just as if you're creating your walls and you want a cutting wall then you just move down so there you have your sloppy glazing you get that sloppy glazing so just pick that so that means your roof is a sloppy glazing type of roof that means a glass roof in which you can edit your million then you finish it and now mind you we already have our slope as 30 if you like in exchange at any rate but i would like to leave that that way so i finish this then i want to see what i really have then i'll go to my 3d to check that so let me just put it in realistic so we should be able to see what we have yeah can you see this is what we have this is our glass if you could see that if you could see that this is our glass now i love to give you some edits here somewhere here put in a realistic give you some little shadows some little sketches something like this so i'll just throw some lightning around it just make it too wow you know, can make it more brighter so it's too bright it's too bright for me it's too bright for me so let's give it some stuff to just make it cool if you are getting me i hope you're getting me but i would love to leave it this way there since it's not really giving what i want i want to really have so now you want to create your mullion so just as if you created a, a cutting wall understand so you pick your cutting grid if you're getting it so you start building it the way you want the way you're getting see the way i'm coming just give it the way you want Depending on your own perspective of design, just give it some shade over here. Okay. So you like to create, create some grid to get getting that. And this is very much easy. I hope you're enjoying it very much. Very easy, man. Well, some people have been disturbing me about it. How can I make this? How can I make that? So. This is the simplest way of 
So let's see how she's got. Okay, we're logging. Let's now making this guy switch. So that's why you know just do it as you want to. As you want to form your boat, your pollen and your rafter. So when you're done with that thing, you know what to do next. Then go back to where you have your mullion. Yeah, mullion we have to just pick this all grey, you understand? All grey. All grey. So now think we have what you need. So thanks for the class for watching my YouTube channel. I hope you find it interesting. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more about to use all these architectural tools, how to make so many things in Revit, how to model them easily with a little techniques. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please try to sign up, try to subscribe, try to guess it on my subscribe button i wish you guys well this is amingo architecture we love you guys one love